Today's Mass is offered for the soul of Donald Trombley, the Passion of St. John the Baptist. I spoke, O Lord, of your decrees before kings, and was not confounded. I pondered your commands, and loved them greatly. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to all my to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore, I ask us to marry and encourage all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will to St. John the Baptist to go ahead of your son both in his birth and in his death, <coughs> grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
Herod himself had sent men to arrest John, bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias had a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. For she could not, for Herod feared John. Knowing that John was a righteous and holy man, he protected him. When Herod heard John, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers, for the leaders of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. He solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oath and for the guests he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. The soldier went and beheaded John in the prison, and brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When the disciples heard about it, they came and took John's body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. The opening prayer of our liturgy says, or invites us to fight hard uh, for Christ, to, to engage in combat like St. John the Baptist did. So when we hear now the story of this grisly death, this, as we call it now, the passion of John the Baptist, we think about the examples of courage the Church gives us, how we need these examples, because we need to know how to do it. Especially with John, we learn that the way to be courageous is the path of prayer and penance, that he fortified his spirit through those means. So he had this amazing courage. And that's what we also have to do. We have to aim at being courageous. So today we are thinking especially about the parallel relationship between Jesus and John the Baptist. They are united in many ways, so many ways, I'm going to try to list some of them, uh, especially their birth and their death and their ministry. So of course, firstly we could say that John spoke the truth. We are thinking about the truth of man and woman and uh, the indissolubility of marriage, that marriage is to last, and that marriage requires faithfulness. So John speaks the truth, but Jesus, of course, is the truth. So Jesus' uh, word is already included in John's preaching, even though Jesus has not yet preached. Here we have the festival occasion of the birthday of Herod Antipas, uh, the festival occasion, of course, in the Nicaragua prison on the other side of the Jordan River, and everything is happening upstairs, festivities, drinking, food, all of the happenings, and John is downstairs, so he is buried, or he is rather uh, in prison underneath all of these happenings. So we have that festive occasion of a birthday, and with Jesus, the occasion of his death, the festive occasion of Passover, the greatest festival of the Jews. 
Herodias, of course, bitterly opposes John. And with Jesus, it is the religious leaders who bitterly oppose him. John is arrested and bound. Jesus is also arrested and bound. John is declared innocent by Herod because St. Mark's Gospel says Herod enjoyed listening to him. He was captivated by uh, John's preaching. And Pilate also declared Jesus innocent before he consented to have him crucified. John was held in the prison cell in Macarius, this enormous fortress built by Herod the Great, the father of Herod Antipas. Jesus is held in the prison cell below Caiaphas' palace, what we call today the Church of St. Peter in Gallicantu, the church where the cock crowed in Jerusalem. Herod tried to please his wife, Pilate attempted to please the crowds, so we see a comparison there. Herod condemned John, and Pilate then eventually did condemn Jesus. Roman soldiers put John to death by beheading, and Roman soldiers put Jesus to death by crucifixion. John's body, John's disciples take his body, lay it in the tomb, and Joseph of Arimathea takes the body of Jesus and lays it in the tomb. So this the day of John's passion is a very special day for us. It is uh, connected with the relics of St. John, um, buried uh, in a very special church in Palestine in the early centuries. That's why we have this day of August the 29th. And it is a reminder to us of the courage we should pray for in living out our gospel faith, living out the truth that John died for. Let us stand and offer our prayers to the Father. God our Father, look upon us and hear our prayers. We pray for those who are suffering greatly for their Catholic faith, especially those in prison in different countries in the world, those losing property, those losing, losing uh, many earthly blessings, Lord, may defend them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick of our own community, for those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for Armenia, the sister of Fausto. We pray for uh, Lois, married to the nephew of Rose Pagani. For all those who are seriously ill, needing our prayers today, we pray to the Lord. For the needs of our Paris school and all of our schools in this approach of September and school beginnings, for the Holy Spirit to help administrators and staff and parents with all of the issues concerned this year, we pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we bring to God our own special prayers for today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Father Prashan, who will be driving to Edmonton for his new assignment, September 1st. God may bless his new undertakings. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father in heaven, hear the prayers we offer, grant in fact what we have prayed for through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual gift. May brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May your sacrifice and yours Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by that voice crying in the desert. St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching, for the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb he left for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone, of all the prophets, pointed out the land of redemption. To make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism, was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. So with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. Before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth, Lord, 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 Son of Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of Christ. You are indeed holy, O Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for them. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim in your death, Lord, Professor, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, and we pray for partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, my Lord, Bishop, and all of our children. Remember your servant Donald, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all. 
we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of my divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity, in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God who will give and takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my heart. Only say the word, my soul shall be Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Thank you. 
body is nice. Body is nice. John answered and said, He must increase, but I must decrease. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere, for what it signifies the saving sacrament we have received. Even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us from the devil. We are safe to our heart against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God freely give you our way to pray. And may God Five, five, eight, eight, eight.